Hey guys, Amazon just released their AI tech and I'm excited to tell you all about it. Get ready to meet Bedrock, a cloud computing service that lets you customize your AI models with your own data. Their huge language model Titan. Amazon also released Code Whisperer, a free AI powered coding assistant just like GitHub Copilot X, but free. The best part, you can test out all these sweet new toys without having to worry about managing all the backend infrastructure. So let's get started. First, let's talk about LLM and Generative AI. Generative AI is a type of AI that is designed to create new content such as images, videos, and music. Generative AI uses deep learning to analyze patterns in existing content and then generates new content based on those patterns. It is often used in creative fields such as art and music, where it can help artists and musicians to create new and unique pieces of work. LLM stands for Language Model with Large Scale Learned Knowledge. LLM is a type of generative AI that is designed to understand and generate human language. In fact, OpenAI's GPT-4 and its cousin ChatGPT are LLMs and often grouped with similar technologies under the umbrella term generative AI. In addition to LLMs, there are several other forms of generative AI. Some of the most common forms of generative AI include RNNs, recurrent neural networks, GAN, generative adversarial networks, and transformers. The transformer architecture is in fact often used as the basis for LLMs because it is particularly effective at modeling the complex relationships between words and phrases in natural language text. So to sum up, LLM is a type of generative AI that is designed to understand and generate human language, while generative AI is designed to create new content based on existing patterns, which includes LLM and several other forms. All right, with that context, let's talk about Amazon AI. AWS has led the charge on machine learning going back to the 90s. They have been developing models for use internally. In fact, they have had large language models in production across Amazon for a good amount of time, whether it is powering Alexa or powering their retail search. And today, Amazon is announcing really exciting things to democratize generative AI so that customers in every industry have access to them and these capabilities won't be restricted to experts. And it's probably because earlier this year, Microsoft announced a big deal with OpenAI. And perhaps Amazon is trying to play a catch up. Regardless, what this means for end users is they will have a choice. A lot of companies, in fact, get that there is no one size fits all solution when it comes to large language models or foundation models. It's just not going to work for every situation or even for every customer. There needs to be a range of options available. And that's what Amazon Bedrock is trying to solve. Amazon Bedrock provides you the flexibility to choose from a wide range of foundation models built by leading AI startups. Foundation models are pre-trained machine learning models that provide a starting point for developing custom models. Amazon Bedrock offers a range of foundation models built by leading AI startups, allowing customers to choose the one that best fits their needs. By providing a range of foundation models, Bedrock enables customers to save time and resources by building on top of pre-existing models rather than starting from scratch. There is currently choice of four foundation models from leading AI startups and also includes Amazon's Titan, mainly focused on text, but for that, I would rely on ChatGPT. I want to generate unique, realistic, high-quality images and art, so I'll be going with Stable Diffusion. However, I don't see Bedrock service at my AWS console and it's probably because it is currently not available as a standalone service. At least from the documentation, it seems Bedrock is still in limited preview. I imagine Bedrock could be a component of Amazon SageMaker, which is fully managed machine learning service that provides developers and data scientists with the ability to build, train, and deploy machine learning models at a scale. Anyways, I'm going to place a request to play with the foundation models. By the way, I'm in the US East Northern Virginia region. This option is not even available in other regions. So if I switch to say Ohio, I don't even see that option there yet. Now, one of the advantages of Bedrock is that it allows businesses to customize pre-built AI models with a small amount of label data. This is particularly useful when dealing with sensitive data such as customer orders or financial information. For example, let's say a restaurant chain wants to create a chatbot that can take food orders from customers. The restaurant can use Bedrock by providing a few labeled examples of customer orders, such as, I want a chicken pizza with extra cheese and upload this data to Amazon S3. Bedrock will use this label data to fine tune a pre-built AI model that can accurately understand and process customer orders. The restaurant can then use this model to power a chatbot that can take orders from customers 
via messaging apps or the restaurant website. All this data is encrypted and stored securely in the customer's virtual private cloud. Businesses can trust their data will remain private and confidential. Even Amazon won't have access to this. Amazon has also announced the general availability of a new cloud infrastructure services designed for generative AI. The EC2 tier and one in instances powered by AWS Trianium, which offers up to 50% savings on training cost over any other EC2 instance and are optimized to distribute training across multiple servers. And finally, a free alternative to GitHub Copilot X Code Whisperer. To access it for free, begin by installing the VS Code or JetBrains extension. Next, activate the extension by registering it. Once activated, open a code file and press Option C to create some code. Additionally, you can enable auto suggestions by opening the extension options and this will generate code as you type. More in-depth tutorial on that in my future video. Thank you.